Alright, good day to all my wonderful online viewers. Just to remind you, if this is your first time of watching this YouTube channel and you have not subscribed, it won't cost you money. Just press the subscribe button, strike the bell also for notification of other videos and other videos when they come on board, you'll be able to see them. Thank you for viewing. Let's continue watching this. The test for cations continues, that is we will be testing for calcium ion, zinc ion, and aluminum ion. Look at how it goes. K is representing a sample, plus ammonia solution in drops. If we have dirty white precipitate from the previous video, you know that it is calcium ion, CA2+. Plus. And in excess, is insoluble. But if you now add ammonium trisocarbonate 4, that is NH4, bracket 2, now you have 2 here. Don't forget, not everything will be on this PowerPoint. You have 2 here. CO3, NH4, CO3. Now, that confirms, you have white precipitate and it confirms ion. I mean, sorry, it confirms calcium ion. Calcium ion, it confirms calcium ion. Now, W plus NaOH in drops, then in excess, then plus ACL. White precipitate. There will be white precipitate, which is soluble in excess. Now, as soon as you add H2S to it, that confirms the presence of zinc. Now look at this slide here. W plus sodium hydroxide in drops, then in excess, you have white precipitate. It confirms the presence of zinc. Now, you, you can also add potassium, as as I know, ferrite 3, that is K4FeCN bracket 6. You have white precipitate and you use that one to confirm the presence of zinc. P plus ammonium chloride solution. You have white precipitate, then aluminum ion is confirmed. Just be looking at what we are using to confirm them and learn them by heart. Now P plus dilute. 2 mil or 2 molar ACL plus litmus solution plus ammonia solution in drop, you have blue precipitate. Look at what we added. P plus dilute 2 molar ACL plus litmus solution plus ammonia solution in drop, you have blue color. That is for aluminum confirmation. Now, test for zinc ion, lead ion and aluminum ion together. K plus sodium hydroxide white precipitate, in excess it dissolves. You have Zn, you have Pb, you have Al that are present. Now that same K plus ammonia solution in drop and in excess. You have white precipitate, the precipitate is insoluble. As soon as the precipitate is insoluble, these are the things that are present. Pb2 plus and Al2 plus are present. Now, Ki or K2CRO2, yellow precipitate. That is the previous plus this. You have yellow precipitate. That confirms the presence of Pb2+. Now, K plus ammonia solution in drop in excess plus 2 molar ACL. If you have white precipitate, it is soluble in hot water. It reappears when cools. The white precipitate soluble when the water is hot. And the white precipitate reappears when it is cooled. PP2 plus is confirmed. Note, if 2 molar H2SO4 is used instead of 2 molar ACL, just a white precipitate will be formed no further reaction so please put that on your mind learn it again and again 
again and again and write things down. You can watch this video over and over. Subscribe so that subsequent ones, subsequent ones, you could be notified and keep listening. Okay, we are going to have a little break now and when we we'll come back, we will continue the lesson. Stay. It's a nice day meeting with intelligent people. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please press this subscription button. Also press the bell as well. Put your questions at the comment side. I'll be interested in answering them and sending the report back to you in a GV. So let us continue our teaching. Now look at this. Test for copper 2 ion, ion 2 ion, and ion 3 ion. Now let us see. W plus NaOH in drop and in excess. If you have blue precipitate, if the blue precipitate is insoluble upon the addition of excess sodium hydroxide, you have Cu2 present. W plus sodium hydroxide in drop, you have blue precipitate, which dissolves to give deep blue coloration. You have Cu2 plus confirmed. Now, when you add K4 FCNC or Ki, the coloration turns brown precipitate. And upon turning brown precipitate, copper 2 ion is totally confirmed. Now look at this slide again. A plus sodium hydroxide in drops, then in nurses. Dirty green precipitate. It is insoluble even if you add excess sodium hydroxide. A plus ammonia solution in drop, then in nurses. Dirty green precipitate in excess. The dirty green precipitate is insoluble. Now, you add K3 FECNC or few drops of concentrated ACL and boil. You have deep blue precipitate. When you boil it, it turns brown. That confirms the presence of ion 2. Look at this. PB, I mean B plus sodium hydroxide in drop, you have reddish brown precipitate, you are already suggesting on your mind that it is ion 3. In excess, it is insoluble. Now, B plus ammonia solution in drop, you have reddish brown precipitate, even in excess, it is insoluble, it is ion 3. Now, potassium thiocyanate solution is added, you have a red blood coloration. Now, when you add K3FECNC, there is a brown solution which confirms the presence of ion 3. Potassium thiocyanate solution. Now, there will be red blood coloration. Practice this is very interesting. Just get any substance that contains ion 3. Do a test with sodium hydroxide. You have reddish brown which is insoluble in excess do it with ammonia you have reddish brown which is insoluble in excess as soon as you now add potassium thiocyanate there will be red blood coloration if you now add k3 fec enzymes there will be brown coloration that confirms the presence of ion 3. now these are the things you should know and learn and as you learn them, you now see for yourself that they are very easy and cheap. So keep viewing the other videos.